Okay, my partner stretches his arms out, fingers straight out towards the wall, <coughs> and uh, the thumbs are tucked in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hollow of my palm right into the center of his fingers. <coughs> and now he drops his shoulder, hip, stretches, drops the wrist slightly, and just cuts underneath, and he transfers through the tips of the fingers. And uh, as, as we're doing this, I'm transferring a little bit onto his knuckles as well, and he's just stretching out. Now the hand is a little bit curved, and then it stretches. What this does is this curve gives a natural protection. I don't want to hyperextend my fingers like that, because they're just going to snap off. I want to keep a bit of a, of a bend, so you have this in there. Now as I put, put most of the pressure on the lead fingers through the hollow of my palm, he just stretches underneath. He drops hip, stretches the spine, picks my base up. Drop the hip, stretch the spine, pick my base up. So this cutting underneath, and I'm just uh, floating my center around the chest, keeping a high ten tension line for him to cut underneath, and then he can practice strengthening his fingers and uh, uh, start to get the, the bilgy finger strength there for, for, the, for the ladder training. Because it does take a year or two to get the fingers strong, we need to start this finger development process very early. Okay, once he's got that one going, he puts his hands on the chest. He softens down onto, onto my, my base. He rolls, and then as he pushes, he waves to the finger. There we go. Now cut underneath my base. Cut underneath my base. So I'm letting him transfer half here and half through my hands down onto his bridge. And uh, we'll just drop these elbows a little bit more and we have this sinking and he can control how much he puts through the fingers so if i'm touching here and and sending the energy out i touch his base i roll and then finish the issue through the tip of the finger so it's going from this area and it's rolling rolling up and this will allow you to transfer your body weight through your fingers and if you're doing your your push-up exercises, pull-up exercises, through the tips of your fingers, you'll find you'll be able to transfer body weight very quickly. Pull-ups through the fingers are super important because your whole body weight hangs on the fingers. When you create pulling strength that way, and then you do a bilgy strike, that strength transfers into the strike, providing you don't hyperextend your joints. You want to keep them bent. Okay, thank you for your time. See you on the next video.